Hello, in this Ionic programming video, we're going to look at the CSS component, which is the card. Cards have become very, very popular in recent years. If you use a chances are, if you use an application, you've seen cards. But if you use an application that allows you to, let's say, swipe something left and right, maybe a dating app or maybe something else, that thing there is a card. It's it's an item that is usually laid on top of each other, or it could be used as some sort of page. It's just a great way because it's flexible, it lets you to display display some really cool information, combine with some images and a bit more styling. It's just a great way of just grouping data together. So cards, very simple stuff. Let's get started. So first of all, we want to create a div. Then this div needs to have a class of, you guessed it, card. Inside here, you want to put another div, and then this div needs to have a class of item. Put it inside the quotation, not outside. Item dash text dash wrap. This is just the way we're going to have the text, aka it's going to wrap around. Just very, very simple stuff. And then inside here, we're just going to have some random text. What I'm going to do is go on to we're going to use this in a moment when we display images so i'm going to put random paragraph generator i, I do use websites like this quite a lot okie dokie let's see that one wasn't very good. not password this not password i'm going to paragraph okay i'll yeah, we'll just use this one. <laughs> that will be more than big enough. So if we paste that into here, save that. Now let's build our project. Nope, that's not it. Ionic build iOS. But you can obviously build it for whatever project you want. You can test it however you want. But it's just easy to test it via the iOS simulator and showcase that to you as well. Because otherwise I'll just be testing it via a physical device whether that's android or ios so there you go you can see what a card is right here if i zoom in you can see exactly what one is chances are if you didn't realize what it was at the start of this video i'm sure you do now okay so the next thing we're going to look at is cards headers and footers simply put you can have headers and footers as well because it's just another great way especially if you have loads of cards or loads of information in it it just allows you to group the card better add a bit more information just provide a bit more in-depth well information that's really all there is to it so before this item we want to create another item so i'll just put div and this needs to have a class of item item dash divider and then in here, I'm just going to put awesome header. Then for the bottom, you can simply just copy and paste this. I'm keeping it simple by just putting some text in there. You could put an image in there. You could put an icon in there. You could put other elements in, like other tags in there from HTML. You could put your own classes in there, style it however you want. The end is web development, you can customize it however you feel. So I'm just gonna put end footer, not fiota, footer. Save that, build our project again. And now let's run it again in our simulator. As you can see, we've got a header and a footer, and it just adds a background as well. So it's just a great way of separating it, stuff that we don't have to do ourselves, which is fantastic. And it looks great whether you're on say, an iPhone, so some sort of phone, or whether you're on a tablet, and it doesn't really matter the landscape as well, it adjusts it all accordingly. That's the benefit of using something like Ionic. The next thing we're gonna look at is card lists. Very similar to just a regular list, but it allows you to look like a card essentially. 
because it already sort of looks like a list. It's got an item here, it's got an item there, and got an item here. But at the end of the day, it's a header and a footer, and it's more complementing the data here instead of it being another item, respectively. So what I'm going to do is just comment this out. I'll leave it because when you access this code via GitHub, I still want this code to be there so you can see what we've done. So you just want to put a div. In here, you want a class of list card. It could be an unordered list if you want it to be. And then inside here, you could have list items. I'm just going to put a div. You could have ahrefs. Honestly, totally up to you. And for this, we're going to have a class of item, then item dash icon dash left. I think you guess it, we're gonna add an icon as well. Not compulsory, it's totally up to you. We'll add one without an icon as well. So let's put I, and for this, put a class of icon, then the icon that you want on, put dash home. If you want more information about Ionic icons, just type into Google, Ionic icons, and you'll get a page that shows you all the different classes that you can use, which is fantastic. And now, I'm just gonna put home item, I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to get rid of the icon. Let's get rid of this class as well. No link, no longer need it. And I'm going to call this item two. And finally, copy and then paste it again. Change this to item dash icon right. Then change it from ion home to ion. Change it to ion card. We're talking about cards, so let's put a card item. So rename that card item, save that, rebuild our project. Now let's just rerun our project. There you go, we've got a list in a card format. As you can see, we've got two icons, one was on the left, one was on the right, according to our classes that we added. The mid one, middle one has no icon, so you can mix and match however you want. But I just think having some sort of icon is fantastic because it just gives a bit more context to the user. It's just a better user experience. Next thing we're going to look at is card images. We're going to do it within the list, but you could do it within a card that well isn't a list. So what we're gonna do, we've already got these items. I'm going to, I'm gonna add another item here. So call this div and for the class, I'm going to put, what am I going to put? Item, item dash image. And I'm going to put an image source for the source. I've got this image open right here of Batman. It's actually a a toy that you can buy of Batman because as you can see, it's, it's not Ben Affleck. It's just a toy of him as Batman. Paste this into here. Save it. Again, rebuild our project. Okay, now let's rerun our project. Okie dokie, as you can see, we now have an image inside it. So it's well, pretty simple. You can do a bunch of other stuff. You can add text in there, you can add buttons in there, you can add paragraph tags. You can add more images, add headers, whatever you want. It's totally customizable and you can create the card that you want and need for your application and have the best user experience possible. So that's it for cards for Ionic. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. Don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to that. Plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.